show you how to open SSH or AppaTouch to your computer or your computer to the AppaTouch using a program called WinSCP. Um, open SSHing is when you transfer files from your computer to your AppaTouch or your AppaTouch or iPhone to your computer and it's quick and easy. Uh, obviously your AppaTouch has to be jailbroken and I'm on Windows PC right now. WinSCP works for the Windows. There might be other programs for Mac, Mac so check those out on YouTube wherever else. And so yeah, I'm going to show you out. So obviously you go to your Cydia, mine's on a 3.0 jailbreak, and we're going to search for the actual thing. We're going to search in for open SSH. Right there. Open SSH, and we're going to click that, and we're going to download it. Obviously yours might have to say, uh, might say install if you haven't had it already. Um, I have mine already, so I don't need to download anything. Um, all you do is install and uh, confirm, and you have it. Nothing's going to show up in your springboard. Um, it's just going to be in your iPod Touch, allowing you to open SSH files. So now we're going to need the actual program in your computer. We're going to go to winscp.net. And as you get to this home page, we're going to go to your download area, which is up here. Now we're going to download the latest installation package. Right now it's a 4.2.1 beta. Well, we're going to download it anyway because it still works. So we're just going to save the file and we're going to download it. Um, I already have it, so it's like a 2.2 megabyte download. I already have the file. And this is how the file looks like. And I'm going to put it on my desktop for you guys to see. So now you've gotten the download. This is how it looks like. It might say, when, um, it might not have that 2 there because I already have like 2 files of it already. Um, so now we're going to install it. When you install it, the procedure is very easy. You don't need to change anything. It's very quick. Just click next. You don't need to change any upgrades. Yours might be different. It might have different things like agree to terms and um, conditions. But just don't change anything unless you want to. Um, Alright, so just do what it says and you're going to be fine. So now you have your uh, program installed, which is WinSCP. We're going to open that up. Guys, make sure your, your iPod Touch is connected, obviously, and you have the iTunes on. So make sure your iTunes and your iPod Touch is connected. Uh, as you get to this program, we're going to make a new setup. All you're going to need here is the host name, username, and password. There's nothing else you need to change, just that. So we're going to go to iPod Touch to find the host name. Your host name is going to be the IP address. So we're going to go to our settings. Then we're going to go to the Wi-Fi that we are using currently, and we're going to click on the arrow right there next to the Wi-Fi we are using. Now the IP address is right there. Um, the IP address is the, this one right there, as you can see. Uh, that's your host name. You need all the periods, all the uh, thing, all the numbers. Make sure you have the periods and everything. So that's your host name. Your username will be the same for everything, will be root. R-O-O-T, and the password will be Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. Very simple, easy, I don't know why that's the username password, but that, that's just the way it is. So if you have that done, you could save it so that you don't have to go through the same process, and all you do is click login. This may take a while for some of you, um, it may not work the first time, you may have to restart your computer, or you may have to reconnect the whole time, or, or, um, or set a new file and add the host name, username, password, etc., etc. So you, you may have to repeat it multiple times. So it might, okay, so back to here. It's going to ask you for your password sometimes, so you have to put your password alpine, and you click OK. And there you go, you're connected. Guys, if you need help, this is the file area. You have the bar here where your computer files are here, and you got your iPod Touch files right here. So, yeah, you can just quickly drag it here and uh, up here. You have your home button, you have your refresh button, and everything else. So guys, if you need help, just comment, rate, subscribe. I'm also using this game, which is a 14-day trial. It's also a simpler version of this. It still works, and it's easy. So guys, peace. Alright, bye guys.